Greetings, good friends. What a privilege it is to gather in this way. I pray that you are well and safe. It was a joy to see many of you face to face in worship yesterday and a joy to be in worship with all of you in spirit. It's with the deepest sadness and the greatest joy that I tell you this is my final chat with you in this manner. The sadness is that I will miss you more than you can imagine. And the joy is that you are forever etched in my mind and my heart, so you will always be present. I'm filled with such gratitude to you, my church family. God has been so kind to let me serve with you these last seven and a half years, even through a pandemic. That has been hard, but you have remained strong as you always have and always will. That's part of my joy as well. I know you are going to thrive, for the Spirit of God continues to lead you. We're in a new season of life. For me, it's a tremendous season of change as I let loose of the life that has challenged, blessed, filled, and transformed me as a person as a servant of God for more than 40 years, and now I get to see what God has in store for me next. For you, it is a season of great hope and great opportunity. I'm so excited about your future as you find new leadership and uh, that will take you to new and wonderful places and understandings. It will be a season of joy, grace, challenge, and victory. I rejoice in this new season ahead for us. Deborah Belka has written a thought about the seasons that we face. She writes, the seasons of life blow in like the wind. Some are slow moving, others like a whirlwind. But I have found no matter for the, no matter the season, whatever blows my way, God has for it a reason. The seasons of life have their highs and lows. The cause behind them only God really knows. But I have found seasons are a blessing, urging me into the goal to just keep pressing. The seasons of life blow in and out, some like a whisper, others with a shout. But I have found each season sent to me keeps me trusting God for what I cannot see. Keep trusting God, dear friends and just see where you go. We are entering an Easter season of resurrection and new life. It is new territory, blessed and planned by God. Robert Raines, a poet, has written, Lord, we are uneasy looking into the future. We need to know that you are with us and we are with you. Give us the confidence that though all things change, you are the same God, ever gracious, for whose love nothing can separate us. Let us feel you on our pulses and in our breathing and convince us in our very bodies that we live and die in the hollow of your hand. Release now those mute longings hidden in our hearts to join the early morning bird song, singing green beginnings and multicolored hopes, for you are shaking us and shaping us into a springtime people with Easter in our eyes. In every season of life, we see it. We see God's reflection calling us to newness, calling us to new hope, new love, new joy, new faith. All the seasons of life lead us to this eternal season of Easter where life blooms and we find our resurrection. Friends, this is our season of resurrection. Changes, yes. Challenges, certainly possibilities? Absolutely. We are a forever people tied together in the sacred love of Jesus Christ with Easter in our eyes. Thank you for keeping Easter always in my eyes. May God bless you richly, and please know that you will forever be in my heart and in my prayers. Blessings, love, and peace always. Amen.